I'm quite comfy there, kitten. It's like, I've got to get up and, you know, do some work and stuff. And I can't while I'm under a cat. Because that's the rules, isn't it? Oh, well. I guess we're staying in bed for a little while. Good morning, it's Monday, it's Monday. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. Not a real song. I bought this, I went to a car boot sale yesterday, didn't film it, sorry, it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. I bought a clip with some Greek people on it. And some jewellery obviously, but that goes in another video. But that was just my random pickup from yesterday. Um, and yes, also went round to my sister's for uh, an absolutely lush uh, roast dinner. Proper Sunday dinner. I had braised red cabbage and cauliflower cheese. And there was some gammon. Oh, and obviously some corned beef pie. And some roast potatoes. Um, broccoli. Peas and carrots, but I don't eat them. Um, and it was absolutely lush and then we sat outside afterwards in the really nice October sun bizarre how could it be nicer weather in October than it was in August messed up but there we go anyway it was absolutely lush so and then um, and then went to the pub again for the last day of, of their October fest um, but they'd run out of German beer by then, which is probably a good thing. So I had rhubarb cider instead, which was very nice. And um, for a lot of the evening, there was only like four of us um, in the pub, which is nice. <laughs> Yay. We had a place to ourselves. Um, what's happening today? I didn't fancy doing today. Oh, and also drunk me didn't come and pick the rest of my orders last night. Rude. Oh. We're going to be having words. So what's happening today is obviously weekend sales, post. Um, I've got some already boxed up that I did on like Friday and Saturday. But I've got a, no, Saturday. I've got to take them down to the post office. I don't know what to do now. It's like, now the price of second class signed for has gone up. Do I? No, no, no. The thing is, I am going to have to go back to second class signed for and just put the prices up, like on the postage. Reason being, I can sign, send it £2.70, 48 hour tract. However, that service, although it's great and it's fully tracked and, you know, things very rarely go missing and stuff, just like regular post, things actually really go missing with regular Royal Mail. If you're sending them just large letter and not tracked and it goes missing, mm, I doubt it. But anyway, um, yeah, 24-hour track does not actually cover jewellery. So um, you can see whether your buyer has received it but if it's lost you can never claim anything back so i will go back to using first and, first and second class and just gradually as i'm doing new listings um change the price on them and then work through um old listings as well it's a bummer especially because like it's cheaper to send a small parcel or regular post which still gets scanned at the end than it is to send a large letter there's something a bit weird there weird <sighs> and i know i could use every and all that but i don't actually like them so there 
Always that great, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna drink my coffee, take my meds, including these massive um, magnesium thingy things, tablets. And uh, gather the other five orders that Drunk Me did not pick last night, and then show you what is indeed going out today. Okay, this is what's going out. So I've got this Hush Sparkly. Now I've put dragon in the title. It's blatantly a snake, not a dragon. So I hope they've looked at the pictures and gone, it's not a dragon, that's a snake. And gone, I'm okay with that for $7.99. I hope so. Why did I put dragon? Idiot. Anyways, uh, Swarovski crystal, like made by Swarovski. Necklace, £9.59. This little sterling silver charm that says Canada on it um, with a Canadian Mountie. There's a Mountie on there. That went for $7.99. This triple ring little uh, pendant necklace went for £10. That's also sterling silver. This Midafiori glass bracelet, £7.21. This little carved deer. Um, yes, it is wood. It is carved from deer, jumping deer, quite cute stag thing. Uh, £4.79, been on my shop a little while, that one. This Spartan stainless steel panther tank link uh, bracelet has gone for £7.99. There's, oh yes, retro mother of pearl inlay bangle, £12. The green velvet dress, eleven ninety nine. This top shop burgundy uh, corduroy pinafore, fourteen pounds. Job lot of costume jewelry rings, eleven ninety nine. Um, two kilograms of costume jewelry, nineteen ninety nine. The sterling silver and abalone, lovely. Um, a bit of abalone there. Pendant necklace, um, eighteen pounds. This burr or burl wood heart heart shaped box I've been drawn into your magnetar pit trap heart shaped box by Nirvana nineteen ninety nine that went for and um, these wooden cube uh, earrings by the E K project uh, went for four pound seventy nine this. Mini mosaic ring made in Italy that went for eleven ninety nine. This travel clef tie clip six ninety nine. This glass flower necklace came in a job lot the other day that went for nine ninety nine. This lovely star brooch seven ninety nine. Balls. Remember I picked up a load of these at the car boot sale for a tenner. So this is the first lot I've sold, I suspect, is because they look a bit like Quidditch balls and somebody wants them for Halloween. I'm really hoping that they don't just use them for Halloween and then want to send them back. Fingers crossed. But they went for £23.99. Um, a job lot of jewellery boxes and then also with these two earrings, pairs of earrings, they went for uh, £20.68. And over on Etsy we've got these lovely squiggly Squiggly earrings. Um, so there, yay. I'm going to package all of these up now. And then in half an hour, something quite exciting is happening on the internet. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Okay, I lied about the exciting thing. It's not actually happening today, it's tomorrow. It's an online auction that I've got some bids on. But um, I thought it was today. Anyways, my post is done, so that's the stuff I've got to take to Royal Mail. But there is an every shop next to a post office up in Brackler with a couple of charity shops. So I figure I can go to Brackler, um, drop those off in one place, drop those off in another place, and do a couple of shops as well. Wahey! Okay, we're out and about, come to Brackler, Brack LA, uh, to do the post. It's all done. And now we're just going to pop into a couple of charity shops. I never get anything from this one, but you never know. Da -da 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 -da.
Merino wool, Murano wool, whatever you want to call it. Da -da -da. The full food. Ooh, that is yellow, isn't it? Feels very fakey, fakey wool. Dotty Perkins. It's quite cute, that actually. Dorothy Perkins is the name of my punk band, by the way. It is a great name. Mm. Look at the sleevage on that. That's that horrible scuba material. Mm. Nope. Shame that's not big and brass, but there we are. She's quite pretty. Not her. <laughs> and then this is the next one. Let's see what's in the cupboard. Mm. Mm. Not looking promising today. There's a couple more little bits here. Kind of cute. Maybe. Right, that's done. It's funny, just passing my mum's old house where she used to live before she moved in with me. Um, it's kind of funny seeing it and not like, I think I've still got the key for it actually. I'm presuming they've changed their locks since then. Um, right, I bought a couple of things in that last shop and now I'm just up to the, the bigger mayors to see what we've got there. Um, yeah. I bought some nice things so far. It's been a good start to the week. This is the uh, dodgy end of the pass coming through Brackler. But look. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Yay. And doing something like that stops them from doing things like that in there. I mean, that's been there years. Don't worry about that. But yay, much nicer, isn't it? Anyway, charity shop, like I was saying. There we go, big and mess at the top of town. What have we got today? Big vans. Pretty bottles. My mum bought a nice one, cute little one with an atomizer at the car boot on the weekend. Weekend yesterday. Do, 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 do. Piggy Wiggies. 20 pound exercise bike. That is my second least favorite one of the machines. See, I don't mind doing the rowing machine, but I don't like the bikes and I don't like the cross country thingy. Oh, that's nice. They've made like a little reading corner cute see if there's any jewelry bobbin books we've got model railways ones glass for the beautiful home oh that's make your own jewelry now oh, i want 
Nice pretty jewelry box. Oh well. Look at all the Christmassy stuff. Wow. Camp candelage. But this is what I'm here for. You know it to be true. Plastic. Plastic. That's quite nice. And then we've got a little idol there. Plastic. What to you? Kind of spoon, ten pounds they want for that. I think I'll leave the spoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh well. well. That's charity shops done. Hmm, maybe a bit of lunchtime bingo. Well, that was fun. I want a house. Yay! Um, off to just another couple of charity shops, I think. Might as well while I'm out in town. And then go home, and I think I might do some more Etsy listing. Yay! Ah, that's Sue Ryder. Looks like a Mace is open today. Sometimes they close on a Monday, but it's open, yay. I think it's probably going to be all the same stuff that we saw the other day. That's still there. These are still here. Oh, I just checked the jewelry cabinet and she goes, oh, there's nothing in there. It's just rubbish. And she was right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Pretty good as Sarah Coventry. Just showing it's missing a stuff. Oh, wow. Oh. And then coming out of the charity shop, I just saw one of our old PE teachers from school. Ugh, weird. Isn't it weird? Like, because you still remember them, like, 30, from 30 years ago. And there she is, like, walking with a walking stick. It's like, oh my god. Anyways, time to go home now. I'm back home. I would like to sit and watch the Take Care of Maya trial, but, um, tell there. Tilda, will you just, yes. um, okay. Okay, let's do afternoon sales. Well, why not? Um, this silver plated fangle sold from £9.50. It's quite a heavy silver plated one as well. Made in Indonesia, apparently, so it says on the tag. Um, this is sterling silver and faux, well, like faux reconstituted amber resin, uh, sterling silver necklace, nineteen ninety nine. Jaw block of key rings, eleven ninety nine. This cute little Christmas cat brooch, seven pounds. Where did I put that top? It's a Hold on. This poetry pink blouse. £3.19, I've had that for a long time, obviously. And then these green teardrop earrings for £10. So I'm going to package these up and watch more of the trial. Okay, so I'm doing my Etsy listings. So I'm listing all of these beautiful bracelets. Look at that with a lovely bit of enamel on there. And then these chunky things. Bit of amber. Cute little mother of pearl buttons. Lovely bit of turquoise. That one's got some amethyst in there. Some filigree. Some lovely um, German art nouveau, but my favourite is this one. So paste stones are not diamonds, unfortunately, not diamonds. But look at that detail on the side. Can you see? Isn't that beautiful? I can also see my, the hair on my arms, but you know, um, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, there is a there's quite a popular website. Um, that sells jewellery and they had one of these up for like 200 odd pounds which is is too much and then looking on etsy there's some for around about the like 120 to 150 um i won't price it that high but um oh my god like 
it's just lovely just that detail on the side hold on let me so you can properly see it look at that isn't that just gorgeous i love it right for tea tonight i'm getting this that i got from um little the other day some cooked and cured ham hock which smells absolutely delicious because i'm just warming it up in there oh and indeed it is delicious it's even just like like falling apart Oh, that's going to be lush. Oofed. Yep. Looks so good. Well, I don't know about you, but after all that, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> oh, it's been such an exhausting day. No, um, um, yeah, it's like I've been uh, um, wavering with a little hangover all day. Very naughty. Anyways, early night. Um, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. I'll see how I feel when I get up. It'll either be a listing day, like being good, or it'll be a being naughty. Well, not being naughty, but um, a going somewhere day. But we shall see. Anyways, find out tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.